all right so i received this particular comment on one of my community posts on youtube he said start with lightroom and snapseed professional picture editing and um, this was a comment i received on one of my posts where i spoke about that I'm, uh, I'm back to uploading tutorials so because of this um in this tutorial i'll show you how to edit images on smash snapseed app snapseed app right so um first of all you need to download the snapseed app and you can get that from your google play store this is the app this is what it looks like and this is my own so you tap on the snapseed app the snapseed app is quite related to lightroom because they do similar thing just that um, different ways of doing it i mean that is they have different interface they have different um they have different those similar um features so first of all you tap on this plus to bring in your image so i'm going to allow all then i'm going to import this particular image right or oh, this particular one so let's work with this one all right so let's work with this particular image and so from here there are these are like templates right so if i tap on let's say for example i tap on um accentuate so it's like an already edited template what you can also call presets right so you can see what we look at look at before look after look at before look after so these are templates here but then um look how we have structure we have silhouette look at it right we have push and all of those stuff right but then that is not our emphasis in this video in this video we are going to edit our own um our own together manually so i'm going to ignore all of this stuff and i'm just going to click on tools now there are so many tools here a lot of them we have cinema details curves white balance crop rotate and a lot of others so let's start first with tune image now let me just say this that when you are trying to edit a, an image it does not mean um you must use all of the two here uh, all of the tools here right no you don't have to use all of the tools here you only use the tools that are relevant to the image that you are editing and um, tools that are relevant to the results that you want to produce right now if you are new to editing i would advise that you just explore try out all the tools and see what they look like so that you will know what they can be used for that way it actually helps your mind in conceptualization because now you know what the tool can do so let's start with tune um what tune does yes what tune does is similar to what light does on adobe lightroom now if you are new to this channel please do where to hit the subscribe button and do where to smash the like button um i'm so sure that you will definitely like this video now i also want you to um if you miss the video on adobe lightroom you can just check my channel out it should have been up right how to edit um pictures with adobe lightroom now let's come back to class so we have um you can adjust like this is for adjusting right and then this is for auto adjust so if i tap on this this look at it it has automatically adjusted but i don't want it to auto adjust so i'm going to undo um i'm going to cancel this because i don't want it to auto adjust so i'll go back to thin image tap on this and then from here you can adjust the brightness the contrast the saturation the ambient the highlight the shadows the warmth if you watch the tutorial on um on adobe lightroom you will realize that the features are actually very very similar so i can tap on brightness for example and then to increase it all you have to do just to tap it and then can you see just tap the screen and then move to the right can you see how this is increasing then if you want to reduce it you just move it to the left look at it if you want to see the before and after you can just tap and hold um no just you can just come here look at it can you see tap on this leave it tap on this please pay attention to my cursor tap on this leave it see what you have leave it and then you go back to the one that you are 
um the, the changes that you are currently affecting so i'm i'm going to just um leave this here so brightness is very um similar to his exposure on adobe lightroom brightness was not used exposure was used instead so if you increase it can you see it is now very exposed to light but then you can just reduce this right i'm trying to help you see that um, adobe lightroom and snapseed can really work as alternatives right it depends on how good you are at editing it's not really primarily about the two used but then it's about the user of the tools right so we have brightness and then for the others um we have contrast so i'm going to tap on contrast and what i do like to do with my contrast is i like to increase it right and why do i like to increase it because it helps to create a sense of depth if you leave it like this it just make it look flat but then look at it it's creates a sense of depth so i'm going to leave it at 20. look at our before look after our after look at before look after or uh, let me increase the beat to four to let's see okay let's just leave it at 50. 50 50. look at it can you see it's at 50. look at before again look after look at before look after look at before look after all right so i'm going to tap on this again now you cannot tap on saturation and let's see if if there will be need for saturation see what we have look at it in case you want to achieve black and white can you see i'm able to achieve it but that's not what i want to achieve so i'm going to increase my saturation um a bit by 10. yes look at it right then before after before after before after so it's taking shape gradually so um click on ambience right click on ambience see what we have here can you see can you see what we are doing this is beautiful right so um no it should not be that high i want us to um let's reduce this a bit to minus 10. let's leave it at minus 10. we have before we have after we have before we have after so tap on this and then click on highlights right what highlight does is that it kind of brightens the bright part already like all these parts that are already bright all this part all this part that are already bright it brightens it so let's let's check it out look at it can you see so yeah so i'm going to increase it to 30. yes to 30 look at before look after look at before look after so um we have shadows so shadows is the opposite of highlights so for shadows now you need to reduce it so that it can be darker so what shadow does is that it darkens when you reduce the shadow it darkens the dark part right so i'm going to reduce this to 20 let's see how that will look 20 minus 20 instead uh minus 20 rather so this what we have look at before look after look at before look after so this is what we have so far look at before look after before after it's looking premium already so we have warmed but I, I i don't think i need to adjust this it's not necessary but let's see can you see if i'm, if, if I'm trying to achieve something blue but no i'm not trying to achieve anything blue so let's leave this as at five right let's just leave this at five warmed five before after before after then that's all basically that's all so um you can now mark it right look at before look after look at before look after look at before look after all right now click on tools and then there are so many other tools here we have details now there's also details on adobe lightroom though so for details now let's check it structure now i like to increase this just a bit so structure works like texture on adobe lightroom right when you watch the adobe lightroom you will be able to connect the dots that if you've not watched it you have to connect the dot better now for this structure can you see how if you increase it too much it can literally affect the whole structure of the design so um i actually just use a little of it you can use 15 right let's use 15 look at before okay look at before look look at before look after look at before look after 
so you know why um it's no longer showing the original one is because you know we've marked that of the tools so what you just be seeing here will be the changes that this has affected um to the, the before is going to be like the last change we affected from the um from the brightness part the brightness the warm the shadows the highlights right so um to be able to see the structure well you may need to zoom in so let's let, let me okay all right so i'm going to look at before look after look at before look after look at before look after it's not really an obvious di um, difference so we have um tap on this click on sharpener and then let's see what sharpener has got sharpener is currently at zero so i'm going to increase the size um yeah this one comes that come from zero so i'm going to increase the size increase the size increase the size yeah let's let's leave it at 60. right look at before look after 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 so i'm going to um yeah this is what we've got here right and you see the quality is really going up this is before this is after so you can i think that's all we have structure and sharpening mark it all right so let's see what we have um let's see the change before after can you see before after can you see before after so now the next thing i'm going to do sorry before after so the next thing i'm going to do is we have details we have curves now for curves i don't like to use it too much because um it could tamper up with a lot of things especially if you are not very good at it right but then if you are very good it's actually very great too right it's actually very very great too okay we have before we have after we have before we have after we have before we have after i'm going to reduce this going to reduce this yeah before we have after right before we have after before after so i'm going to i'm coming before after before after before after before after so i'm going to reduce this a bit right before after so then i'll mark it before after so we have um curves we have white balance right we have white balance this is temperature and tint look at it temperature and tint but then um zero so for tint now right but i don't want this i don't need it so with that point is we have white balance if you want to crop fine but i don't want to crop if you want to rotate that's great too but i don't want to rotate, rotate. perspective i don't want to um skew it right i don't want to skew it so there's no point i don't want to use perspective on it I'm, i love the way the outstretch it is then we have expand too i don't want to expand it right um if you want to if you expand this can you see you know what it's talking about but well, i don't want to expand it because there's no need literally so we have selective now the advantage of this selective this selective this selective works like masking on um on adobe lightroom so what that happens is that from here you are able to selectively edit a part of the image right so for example now let's say i want to edit just this part right this color here i can look at this is plus already i can just tap on this can you see i can tap on this and then you can see that the first thing that will show you is brightness so if you tap on this if you tap on this you can delete it you can copy you can cut it all of this stuff then yeah i think this one is you can redo the edit right so now we have brightness here but it does not comprise of only brightness so there are some things that if you um just tap on it all right if you tap on this b and you bring it down but well, first of all um let's bring it here right so if you tap on this if you tap on this can you see so if you tap on this and then you just 
um tap on it and then you just um just come to um you just come under it right and then you move up you be able to adjust it this is brightness this is contrast this is saturation this is structure right um, uh, brightness brightness contrast saturation and structure all right so um structure so if you want to adjust it again you can come to brightness so for brightness all you have to do just move it to the left can you see can you see that this is only affecting a part of this image right can you see it's only affecting this part it's not affecting it's not affecting this part right and that is because of where i placed it if you move this here can you see that it has begun to affect this part if you move this here can you see that begin to affect this part move it anywhere can you see and see that begin to affect this particular part right so you just have to be um look at it you just have to be very very careful so that you do not tamper with yeah so you can also adjust the um contrast look at it you can reduce the contrast you can adjust the contrast and all of this stuff so you can the saturation too and adjust the saturation right then the structure too you can adjust the structure just like we adjusted the structure for this guy for this um face so you can move this to anywhere can you see you can move this here yes and i this you don't want to see it look at what we've got if you look at before look after look at before look after but then i want to bring this back here look at it but then i don't even want so i'm going to cancel it but i just wanted to show you what to use it for right so you can create as many as possible you can just tap on this plus um you can create yours again then the brightness you can increase the brightness can you see you can um with the contrast you can reduce the con you can uh, reduce the contrast or increase the contrast and then you can come to saturation increase increase the, um, the increase the the amount a bit then you can come to structure increase the structure a bit so we have before we have after we have before we have after we have before we have after so um for this i don't want this i'm going to you can tap on all this and then just delete it right so yes so we see what we've got then yes so, but this is what i want right i don't want it now you can copy this let me just mention that you can copy this look at it you can copy this right so you can um you can move this here okay right so i've copy here just come here tap on all this place and then look at paste can you see can you see, can you see what i just did let me try delete it again delete all right so you know i've copied this to copy just come here tap on this one or whichever one that you're working with tap on audit right and then you will see this is cut this is copy this is delete this is undo effect this is paste so i'm going to copy and then you can just come to anywhere you want to paste it tap it and then you will see the paste icon paste and then this is what we've got right so um for this for this i'm going to reduce the brightness to to 10 right so we have this so i'm going to move this down here and then i'm going to mark it so we have before we have after we have before we have after all right so there are so many other tools that you can use we have brush um yeah we have brush so for this brush now we have um dodge and burn we have dodge and burn we have exposure right 
so this dodge and burn will come very well come in handy when you are trying to retouch right this is where dodge and, that's where dodge and burn actually come to play a huge role let's say you are trying to that's where it comes in quite handy Can you see the difference? Can you see the difference? Right, so that's the advantage of uh, bond, dodge and burn. But then I don't want that too. So we have um, healing, right? Let's say there are some, some parts you want to heal, right? Maybe let's say that there are like um, wrinkles or rashes on the body. That is what you use this one for, right? Um, look at it. You then adjust it we'll see what we've got because we don't need it so you can undo here can you see and then if you need to write the size uh, if you need to adjust the size if you need to adjust the size you can just um you can just zoom in your image right you can just zoom in your image so that you can uh, adjust it right so okay but i'm canceling this because i don't need it all right so um if you click on two so there are some other tools that you can actually find in very handy here we have hdr scale we have glamour glue we have tuner contrast we have drama vintage grainy film this grainy film is if you want to if you want green to show all right if you want green right look out for this one our grain is 25 so you can increase the grain look at it can you see grain you can increase the grain but let me just reduce mine to to 40 right so um for this two you can um adjust the style strength right look at style strength you can adjust it so i want to reduce mine to 30 right look at before look after before after before after right look at these are templates right these are styles template styles that can be used but then this is okay so you can zoom in your work to see what you are doing look at it you can zoom in your work to see what you are doing so this one we've got you can mark it Look at before, right? Look at before, look after the level of depth already. So, from here, you can adjust. Um, we have retros, we have grunge, we have black and white, we have now, we have portrait, head pose. This one you can use to adjust head pose. Look at lens blow, um, vignette, double exposure, text, and um, frames, right? So, um, for this text, you can type in a text here yeah, and all of this stuff, right? There are different templates. There are different templates you can use here. If you want to use the line, that's absolutely fine too. If you want to use the line, that's absolutely fine too. Right, you can just um you can just move this down here and just um double tap it and just say something like um fashion fashion is life. Right, fashion is life. So we have um, this, then the color can be adjusted, color can be adjusted, okay, the obesity can be reduced. Okay. So the size can also be reduced by using your two ends on your screen. We have the size being reduced. Alright, but I don't want it. I just wanted to show you how you can do that. We have um, double exposure. Um, for double exposure now, something you can just tap on this. And you can bring in another image. Right, so you can bring in another image. 
let's say this for example can you see what's happening and we can bring this down here you just you can reduce the size okay Uh, right, so this one can stay here. Let me see. Yeah, look at this is the advantage of. Um, can you see? Can you see what I just did? So from here now, you can um, increase the opacity. Can you see? Can you see, guys? Can you see the opacity? Look at it. If you want to reduce it to. Look at it and do that here. You can increase it here, then you can reduce it here. Then, here is for the uh, blending mode, right? Yes, for the blending mode, you can use lighting, right? You can use darking, you can use add, right? You can use add. You can use subtract you can use overlay right then you can the default is the dead so lighting is the there that can lighting blends together with it right yeah but the moment the question of the lighting um disappear double exposure I'm going to use um add right I'm going to use add and I'm going to reduce the size right and I'm going to reduce the opacity I'm going to reduce the opacity I can blend well into it I'm going to turn this All right tap on this and then I'll, re I'll reduce the opacity a bit more so we have this All right then we can now mark it right so this is not sure now if you need to edit let me just say this if you need to edit anything this is before this is after this is before this is after so if you need to edit um let's say this image now something something happened here right you can just um click on this three no tap on this instead look at it this is this is called edit stack so you can tap on this so that you can access the layers right now you can click on undo then there's redo then there's revert then view edit but i want us to click on view edit because i want to be able to edit that again so that we have different stages of the edit this is the original one that we started working on and don't forget that the first thing we did was tune it so if you tap on this the tune look at it if you tap on this look at details right can you see the difference if you tap on this the curves if you tap, tap on this the selective look at it if you tap on this grainy frame yeah can you see if you tap on double exposure and then we have this if you want to edit it look at this little arrow here every every one of them have little arrow so that if you tap on it you can actually delete edit or you can delete edit and do all of these stuff so click on double exposure tap on this and then i want to edit it right so um this is it i'm just going to change the blend option um well, i'm going to see let me make it a bit more visible right so i'm just, i'm going to change the blend option to default right i'm going to change the default tap on this and i'm going to increase the opacity coming lighting darking right we have add so add add will not add add will not tamper with the color of the skin so this is what we got let me mark it and see what it will do all this time around yeah 
yeah i need to still adjust it again i don't know why it's so clear here but it's not clear there so we we'll just um use we we'll just use this yeah we use this then I'll reduce the opacity yeah I'll reduce the opacity then then mark it all right yeah we've got this so this is before this is after this is before this is after so now you can now click on back so that takes us here and then you can apply other edits that depending on your preference we have drama we have tuna contrast and uh, tuna contrast so yeah you can adjust the eye tone the midi tones blah 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 so you can adjust this can you see you can adjust this we have mid medium um, tones you can adjust this too we have um, low tones, you can adjust this too. We have protect shadows, you can apply this too. Then we can provide a light, you can apply this too. So we have before, we have after, we have before, we have after, we have before, we have after, we have before, we have after. So I'm going to mark it before, after, right? Before, after. Okay, so we now have. Um, that's it we now have a couple of other things we have glamour glue here right these are templates that you can that can be used right look at these are templates that can be used right but i'm not a big fan of templates right i'm not a big fan of templates so um so we tap on this and then the glue you can increase the glue right can increase the glue can you see so you can increase the saturation too if it's too small then you can increase the warmth you can reduce the warmth right so we've got so you can um you can just increase it to like seven look at before after before after so mark it and then we have this so this is where we start for this particular tutorial there are so many things you can learn on snapseed but that you will learn when you devote yourself to practice this is before this is after this is before right just flat image nothing special but then this is after the magical touch has touched it right so let me know what you think about this in the comment to save this is very simple just click on export right uh, but then before that check your settings and be sure that it will export in the right uh, format and quality i want 100 right so ensure that you are um you are sure all right so click on export and then you can now click on um save right so i just click on save and then it's preparing photo it's preparing photo and i'm sure that my photo will be ready anytime soon right so like i said if you are new to this channel um just wait to subscribe and like this video also share this video with at least one person they will be ever grateful that you share them this opportunity see you um in my next